Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to our parish at Blessed Sacrament. Today we celebrate the uh, Friday in the 29th uh, week of Ordinary Time. Today's intentions are for the repose of the soul of Ben Arnold, for the living and deceased members of the Queen of Angels fraternity, and a happy birthday to Nubia Tobias. Our celebrant this evening is our pastor, Father Ben Flores. Would you join the choir in singing Rain Down? And I invite everyone to stand so that we can begin our celebration. Number 600 in your music issue, Rain Down. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And, and good evening, my friends. So good to be with you all. Today we commemorate the uh, optional memorial of St. John of Capistrano. He was a priest born in Italy uh, but became a prisoner of war and um, he was a lawyer at one time, but he was called truly to serve God's people, and it was then that he uh, turned to preaching in an extraordinary manner. Let us pray that the Word of God may continue to be our teacher, our inspiration, the Word of God in whom we trust for forgiveness and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John of Capistrano to comfort your faithful people in tribulation, place us, we pray, under your safe protection 
and keep your church in everlasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to God. This is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord of the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the sea and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountains of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You had revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. Thomas Merton, contemporary of our times as a monk and a prolific writer, once wrote that humility makes us genuine people while the pride makes us everything opposite, which would be artificial, without depth without a sense of being. And if we look at the vices and the virtues, virtues that the church offers us, a response to every vice, we see that the humility and the pride are at both ends and yet at the beginning at the same time. Because God created us in his image means that he created us to be as real as himself, as genuine, as a creation with depth, with meaning, that is connected to all things. As, he, as we hear in, in the book of Genesis, how all things were created and all things were good, they were linked they were not in competition. They were all related to one another. Whereas the pride that comes in, the sinfulness, the emptiness of that humility, the emptiness of the real being of all creation, steps in as, as, as if something that is other, when nothing else can exist outside of God, only God is real. Only God is good. And all good things come from him. And nothing exists outside of him, St. John tells us. So the pride is constantly that which we allow ourselves to be taken by. The pride in, in our work. The pride to show off and who we are is all artificial because none of it is real if it isn't solidly placed in God, if we don't truly turn to our Heavenly Father to give Him thanks for giving us the intelligence and the will and the know-how and the strength and the health to be able to create what we create in one day. But it is this virtue, this understanding that all that I have comes from God. And then it is real. Then it has substance. Then it has value. 
because as easily as I have accumulated or have gained it, I can easily lose it. But by faith, as we hear in the first reading, by faith, all is restored. Nothing is lost. And all those things that we build up on our own out of pride, all those things come to nothing. That is why Jesus turns to the crowds who, you know, pretend to be so knowledgeable of so many things, you know. And I could easily read this, as many of us would, and we would to say, well, isn't it true that, you know, it, it's so true that nowadays we could read the stock market, right? We could read the stock market if it's, if it's going to be a good day or a bad day depending on, on the relationships between leaders, right? And there if, if there is some sort of trouble, then you know the market is going to get hit. And if things seem to be going well in one of the areas of, you know, the market of selling homes or what have you or oil or you know, there seems to be something positive in those prophets too. Jesus would say, you hypocrites, if you can tell all these signs, if you can read them so well, if you know what is going on in the world and in the earth and the sky, and how can you not read also how can you not read also how God speaks to you? How could you pretend that God doesn't speak to us? When we play with these things, my friends, when we play with, with the environment, when we play with the stock market, when we play with politics, economics, and so on and so forth, that are so easily tangible and easy to read, legible. Jesus challenges us to realize that of those things, in the same way that we can read them, we can also sense something deeper in our hearts. That is, if we are humble, that is, if we are truly attuned to the Spirit. In the same way that we have the capacity to attune our hearts and our minds and, and all our savviness and all our cleverness into manipulating and controlling and moving that little needle just a little bit more for profit, Jesus challenges us, so can you also read when God is speaking to your heart. So can you tell that the word of God speaks to us every day. And in our hearts, he calls us to be real, to be genuine people. To be more honest, to be more humble. And if we do that, my friends, we will find that we will find peace and the kindness and the goodness that we hear about in the first reading. Those things do not come about because of my own will. They don't come about because I am good and they don't stop coming about because I am bad. It's a matter of the heart. It's a matter of understanding that is where God speaks to me if I allow him to come into my life, if I allow his word to penetrate my heart, and I will pick up on those 
virtues as well. How I can be humble, how I can be good to my brother, how I am taught by the word, how he is my teacher, my guide, my counselor. The Spirit of God teaches us. We are hypocrites to believe that God doesn't speak to us. Because maybe we're not listening. Maybe the truth is that we prefer simply what we hold on to and what is tangible and what we believe is real. But those things are artificial because they are created by us. They do not come from God. And if they don't come from God, then they will come to nothing. But if we seek real peace in our world, we must begin with the virtue that God has given to us, to be humble before him and before one another. Attentive to the signs of the times, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for spiritual directors and those they accompany for hearts to discern the Spirit's way. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders and those charged with keeping peace, for insight to interpret the present time, we pray. For magistrates and those who enforce the law, for fairness in the search for justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For farmers and those who depend on the sun and rain, for wisdom to partner with creation's rhythms, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those who struggle in spirit, for release from anxiety and despair, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, we pray especially for uh, Chris Montelongo and for Glenn uh, Borrego. For guidance beyond the power of death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for the eternal repose of Ben Arnold and all the members of Queen of Angels fraternity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Nubia Tobias on her birthday, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear us, God of earth and sky, and give us wisdom to judge what is right. May we live in this present time as servants and heralds of the day to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we bring our gifts to the table of the Lord, let us come together in prayer and in song. 639 in the music issue. One Lord, 639. There is one Lord, there is one faith, there is one Father of us all, and through His Son, who came to save.
My sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all God, the Holy Spirit. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, God of hosts. hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending forth your spirit of upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, the clergy and religious everywhere. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, uh, San, uh, San Juan Junipero, uh, excuse me, San, Saint John Capistrano, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's join our hearts, my friends, and our voices in one as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. In your mercy, grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the 
sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold, this is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. But all who say a word, and my soul shall be healed. communion we come together in prayer and in song number 311 in the music issue table of plenty number 311 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be held by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Friends, let us continue practicing social distancing, wearing our masks, washing our hands. Let us also not forget we have one last week of early voting. If you haven't done so already, we encourage you please to do so this coming uh, week. I believe that even Saturday and Sunday the polls are open, but I think they open at 12 noon tomorrow, Saturday. So please go out and vote if you haven't done so already. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and keep you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love, to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care of one another. God bless you all. Thanks. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Let us continue our celebration and let us sing 384 in your music issue with one voice, number 384. Take the word and go out to every land. Shine the light of Christ for all to see. May the lives of those we touch praise to God above. Let us see. We'll see. the word along with one voice bring justice to the world and with all the angels will spread the goodness of God with all power and glory the word of God shall reign take Shine the light of Christ for all to see. May we all set out to live in peace and harmony. They will see and see. With one voice, we'll pass the word along. With one voice, bring justice to the world. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your day. Thank you.